Hi, my name is uh, director of the film uh, Reefer Madness, Louis Gaznia. Uh, and um, I originally titled this uh, Tell Your Children, but I figured that this film was telling the children, you know. So, you know, that's me, Louis Gaznia. These guys were very helpful in filming this. I had a problem with the musical director, Ab Maya. He really uh, took me for a loop with his musical direction. I cast every single one of these people. I, uh, in my day, you just, you know, went outside, you just, you saw who you wanted, you go grocery shopping, you see what you want, you know, I would go to the grocery store, I'd see someone at the grocery store, I liked them. You know, I was trying to startle people here, I was trying to startle, scare them, you know, I, uh, uh, see, uh, I was trying to scare them away from drugs. Uh, I was hired uh, by the government to do it. And I did, you know, the best I could. And, uh, you know, back then, marijuana spelled with an H. And, uh, you know, see, uh, look at this. Look at Rocket all the kind of violent uncontrollable laughter, laughing, uh, happiness, uh, that's, all this is very scary stuff for the average American, and it very much scared me when I was looking at this, and it destroy, I believe that you cannot get into heaven if you, if you, if you take this drug, you, you go straight to hell, the devil smokes marijuana, uh, you know, uh, this is how uh, I believe uh, I started the war on drugs with this. And uh, the war on drugs has had many casualties and affected uh, disproportionately minorities, which was my goal, really. Because I was, I'm scared of them, I'm really scared of them. We, we went to uh, the local paper store to shoot this uh, pa the paper mill for no, only the local paper would let me do this so I, I just went to the paper dam the road the paper mill And all the mm. school parent groups about the country. This guy, uh, I believe you, he, his presence on screen really is quite... You can do it by bringing about compulsory education. On the amazing. Of look at him. Yes. He... Right now, look how he Anna, clenches his hand, punches the table. That is the purpose of this meeting, ladies and gentlemen. To lay the foundation for a nationwide campaign is by you to demand by law such compulsory education because it is only through enlightenment that this scourge can it's be beautiful there's all my words out of the traffic in these drugs a lawlessness that we can scarcely estimate has grown and is now flourishing these people it's were actually we, they were at a pta meeting in the country. i stopped by i said you I used my, I used, I sent the actor to go in front of them and see if he could rile them up. Uh, you know, this is half improvised. Always at the risk of life by their agents. You know. This ceaseless fight against the drug traffic. You can see they were acting very naturally, you know. He had all his lines in front of him. I have received a letter of vital importance. His memory was shot by marijuana. That's why I, I included him in my film. 
My dear Dr. Carroll, the suppression of the use of marijuana and of the forces lurking behind it are the most important jobs this department is now engaged in. At the outset of this letter, there is one You can see the little barrel next to him. It's got a handle and there's a drink that, you know, it's like a mini barrel. Like a, just a small one. Their eternal vigilance could be the deciding factor in our fight against it. The weed marijuana is grown in every state in the Union. Recently, in the city of Brooklyn, New York, a field of marijuana was found behind a tenement. Now you hall. see, the weed was here being this is actually regularly stripped. I I had never seen and a uh, the drug of marijuana before. So what I did was I I just went to a lot and I took some shots of some 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 of these weeds here. Uh, I, I assumed, you know, that many of these uh, people, you know, they hadn't seen it before either. So. They are hidden in fake jewelry cases, in the heels of shoes, women's shoes especially, because the drugs can be secreted in false heels. No, I thought that, uh, you know, you know, what I did was I gra I took things from my house. I took my watch, I took my, my wife's shoes, and I cut them. I just cut them, I shoved, and I shoved, I, sho I shoved place where we could put, put stuff, you know. I, I, I made a lot of sacrifices for this. And more vicious. More deadly even than these soul destroying drugs is the menace. These are power. not actual bricks because the, they would be so heavy no for them. The actors would get so hot, especially in front of the incinerator. Happen, but they cannot happen to you. You may also believe that the facts have been exaggerated. Let me tell you of something that happened. This right guy here, here he never America. broke character, he I was always. Very seriously against marijuana, very hating it. It was run by a woman known as May Coleman. Wow, he was, he, this guy was very strong, you know, this actor. And so when he closed the door, he pushed it with all his might. So, you know, you see, uh, this was, I wanted to portray how my home life was. I came home, I always, I come home, I look at my wife, I say, look, I clean up this house, you, you clean it up. It's not clean. A Hollywood director. Uh, the government has hired me to direct their film. Why is this house not clean? And I say, I always say, it looks like the Marines bombed us. You know, uh, I, I wanted uh, a video shots of her dressing up so you knew she was dressing up and some you know we liked watching it was fun we liked it he didn't want to show his strength that time he's very powerful so they called it a joint see so back to her dressing Oh, I wish you'd lay off those kids. Oh, why don't you get over there, complex? 
Uh, see, I'm very rough with her when she tells me to stop talking to ch- little children too, and I, I love, I love them. I love them very much. I never go anywhere without my heart, you know. This guy was actually a real crossing guard. We wanted authenticity here. So what he did was is that he would say, stop. But actually, there's an actor in this car, so he wouldn't have gone anyway. Oh, by the way, Ralph, I'm sort of getting a little party Saturday afternoon over at my grandmother's. You know, the place of the swimming pool? Like to come? Thanks, Teddy. Maybe I will. I'd sure like to have you. Okay, I'll probably drop over. So long, Ralph. See you later. See. Hey, Ralph. Th- Hi, these yeah. boys. Oh, great. Where you head? Oh. Uh, hey, how do you like that? Very special, you know. Special to me. That's the one I was telling you about. Very nice. He obviously checked checked out his friend's ass, but he's looking across the, to there. Uh, that's the confusion of marijuana. You don't know you you don't know anything. You know you, you can't come to terms with who he is. Well, I only kind of say hello to him. I don't go around with him. Well, you better not. He's a little too old for us. That's what my dad said. Hello, Mary. How are you, Bill? How are you, Ralph? Oh, hello, Ralph. You know my brother Jimmy, don't you? How are you? Well, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Jack Perry. Mary, Bill, no, how, how do you do? Glad to know you. We're going over to Joe's place. Why don't you come along? We have a date to play, a set of doubles. Oh, you can play any time. Come on, we'll have some laughs. Oh, we can today, Ralph. Some other time. Can I go along with you? Sure. Hey, I'll see you at dinner, sis. <laughs> He's tired of hang, hanging out with his sister because, you know, sometimes you want a, a break from the family, you know, but no drugs. Uh, and again, you know, I, it's an ass shot. But, you know, I just, I, I like that sort of thing. Now, this guy, he... I really didn't want him to come out with this haircut on set. I, I was unsatisfied with it. I, I, I thought he. Hey, he ain't no paper man. Why don't you know him? That hot finger curling. Boy, he really swings out hot with him. That's a jive. You want to dance? Now this girl, she's a terrible dancer. She's crazy and and nutty and it's uh, mar marijuana. You know, it's the marijuana. Marijuana. See, she's just crazy. She, she's a terrible dancer. She had no sense of rhythm. She actually... It, it really bothered uh, the, this piano player. Uh, his haircut bothered me in particular, but it bothered him quite a bit. Without this uh, drug doing, his hair would wouldn't be like that. It's an awful haircut, really. Jimmy, you're wonderful. <laughs> you just finding that out? Why can't we go now? Mm, good. Hey kids, we're having a little party up. My girlfriend. She missed the line. She was supposed to say that, you know, we're hanging out for a little longer. But what can you do? It's not like now with the digital and uh, you digital digital remove it. You know, he said, "Why can't we go now?" Uh, I wanted it to be a little more whiny. Why can't we go now? Why can't we go now? That's how I ask. When I want something, I get it usually. I'm the director. It's sweet of you. 
you to help me, Bill. Well, I'll try anything except domestic science. Why, Bill, don't you want to learn something about running your own home? The answer is no. <laughs> you know, after that session we had yesterday, I went home and told Mother that the trouble with her pot roast gravy was she hadn't added three heaping teaspoonfuls of olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? She didn't say anything. She just threw me out of the kitchen. Well, I don't this is, I was, uh, uh, I always That's told my, my mom had to cook and she never took my advice and I get me very angry and I just didn't care for it. He will. She will too, Mrs. Lane. May I? Oh, thank you, kind sir. You're so very, very kind. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, before we do that math, how about reading some of this? It's swell. Romeo and Juliet. Don't you like it? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, when I study this, I, I kind of think of you as... I just sort of feel as though you're there beside me. He obviously hasn't read the books of Romeo and Juliet, but I included the the classics, you know. It calls upon thy name, how silver sweet sound lovers' tongues by night, like softest music. She actually really hated him, Romeo, you know, and it was very difficult for her to be around him. You know, and uh, my mom was always sitting on dates. She would sit there. She would watch me. She would watch my brother, my sister. She watched all of us. Well, uh, I'll see you tonight, you know. Mary. Bye, Mrs. Lane. Goodbye. 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 That I don't know what that was. That was a total mistake. He wasn't supposed to fall in. It looks ridiculous. The wet pants. It looks like he looks like he pissed his pants out his ass. As a teenager, I was also bothered by my six-year-old brothers uh, making fun of me. He was actually my cousin, and he was very small, big age difference, and he would make fun of him. And so I would shut him up. I would hurt him. I would attack him and whine to my mom. She'd have to. Uh, honestly, over time, I really don't know about that line. I, I don't even know. I don't know. See, this character development, he, he goes from being a really, really shit brother to a kind of pretty good brother. As you can see, the first part of this movie has very little, if anything, to do with Marahana. Yeah, I... I let him fill in the line there. He could buy him something else other than soda, and he picked another so soda. And it was very frustrating for me. I, I got, I, I got kind of pretty frustrated with this actor. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Bill. Come on, slide in. Hello, Lance. Hello, Ralph. Hello, Ralph. Have you been, Ralph? Hello, Ralph. Two sodas. No, I mean one soda and one root beer. How's May? Oh, she's fine. We're going up to her apartment a little later. Couldn't Bill come along? Mm-hmm. Oh, come on along, Bill. You'll get a kick out of it. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, come on, Bill. Mary won't be jealous. Why, sure. A lot of the kids will be there. It's keen. Well, I don't know. I really shouldn't have. Well, okay. <laughs> see, the actress was... Actually, she was all pretty all over him on set. It was... Uh, see how crazy this pianist is getting? Where were you? I, I told them they could bring their own weed on set. Marihuana. 
Marahana. They're gonna use I I I didn't know if they were using it or not, but they were acting like it, so doesn't like this party. You see, notice how co big his collar is, how big it is. Growing up, I wasn't invited to any parties and... See, and, uh, you know, I, I, you know. Hey, Jimmy. Yep. I've got to run over to Cedar Avenue. See, the, the, the story behind finding this actor, I was walking around, I, I walked to the supermarket, and I, I was in uh, the canned aisle, and he, he was, he, he's, he was, uh, sucking his hair back, and I, I liked it. And... No, thank you. You know... Well, here we are. All day. Oh, man, don't forget me. I never forget you. Oh, dear. If you want a good smoke, try one of these. See, his, uh, his collar is huge. See how happy it's making people? I just, I, I really don't like that. I thought you were a spirit. Of course, if you're afraid. That's better, that's more like it. I know you like it. I really am proud of this close up. We did it all in one take. The light. The, uh, the, uh, the, the thing, it went right in. <laughs> he was coughing. He choked a lot on Saturday. He could cough when he was smoking. He's not used to it. Just be a minute, kid. Hey, Jack, get me a cigarette before you go, will you? So I'd never been to a dealer's den before, so what I did is I went to my accountant and I said, hey, let's use your office, you could be in it, just... See the mentions of dope. All right. His. You know what my policy has always been. The boys are not satisfied. I'm always glad to have them retire. Retire permanently. So he actually kind of brought quite a bit of angry energy to this. You see, his tax season, and my accountant was very unhappy with to do this, to do this scene. But you know. I only wish you had a couple of kids so I could. Yeah. All right, 
right, Jack. Pick up your stuff from Danny. They'll be ready by now. Okay, boss. Yeah, I think he, right here he's actually doing my taxes. Let's go, Jack. I'm red hot. Better be careful how you drive it. The first thing you know, you'll be ice cold. Now, these people, we wanted a real reaction. So these are all real people on the street. When he said cigarette, it was actually marijuana. Now, that, you know, lo looking back on that, I, I wasn't sure how realistic that runover looked like. Mary, you're not eating your breakfast again. Bill Harper hasn't been around lately. Anything wrong between you two? Why should there be anything wrong? There shouldn't be, I'm sure. And whatever it is isn't serious, I know. I'm sorry, Mother, for snapping at you like that. Don't worry about it, dear. Why don't you speak frankly to Bill? He'll be honest, whatever the trouble is. I'm sure Bill Harper never lied about anything. Yes, that's right. Bill's mother says he never The actor lied. himself? There, you see? In fact... You think it'd be all right if quite the notorious liar he lied uh, he 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 lied uh, constantly to get off set he said he had to go do his homework he had to go be there for his family he said he said uh, he would hurt me what have i got to worry about why don't you tell me well for pete's sake don't start to cross examine me will you i'm all right jimmy don't let mother see you like that The actor felt as if he actually really did hit the person, you know, the, the sad, this kid, and... Uh, there is no doubt that there is an organized gang distributing the narcotic to students, not only in my school... He didn't, we, I, we tried telling him, all the actors the were there, and we explained it to him, to and we said it was stuff, uh, you know, you, we don't, we're not sure you, you actually you even... Hit the guy. We we, we put shot the scene. He the, we cut right before it hits, and then we then we move him, and then we put then we take another shot with him under, and then cut, and then another shot after. Is a widespread campaign in education. Oh, it's all right to talk about education, Mr. Wyatt, but we educators can't do anything until the public is sufficiently aroused. Let me show you something. In 1930, See, it was hard to shoot one, this scene, and I'll tell you why. In this scene, Today, these two guys could not stand each other, the actors. They couldn't help, the, you know, and he had so much trouble working that file cabinet. It would get stuck. He would grab the wrong one. He would grab the first. Then he would grab the second into the top and then I told him it's that one that's where it is the rest of the violin cabinet is empty how many times do I have to tell you this Ted listen to me and uh, I made up these cases and uh, I uh, a young girl 17 years old a reefer smoker taken in a raid in the company with five young men here is a particularly flagrant case. Yes, I remember the newspapers made quite a play of it. In West Virginia, wasn't it? Yes. And there are hundreds of them coming up, new ones every day. I'd like to take these records, if I may. I feel they would be of invaluable assistance to me in combating the evil in my school. You're very welcome, Dr. Carroll. Thank you. I'm so glad they finally got that scene down. Sit down, Bill. <sighs> You know what? Uh, to watch this to watch this movie, I, I gotta do I gotta do something crazy. I, I'm gonna s smoke a joint too. The work is getting a little harder, Doctor Carroll. No, no, it isn't that. Bill, I'd like to help you, but of course I can't unless you let me. You're undermining your health. Well, there's nothing, Doctor Carroll. Really, there isn't. I'll study harder. I don't even know what's happening in this 
fucking scene. Honest with me. Uh, I'm yourself. unhappy with the angles here. I want it to be a one shot, one take. Both of them in the same scene, but they kept fucking up their lines. He, this motherfucker Bill guy, he barely played it right. He's supposed to be all over the place, smacking about, feeling not good. He's, he didn't even know what he's supposed to be doing here. No, sir, I haven't, Dr. Carroll. What is you? When we put makeup on this guy, we put all the eyeshadow on him. We gave eyeshadow. I said to find the eyes, find them. But remember, if you ever want to confide in me, no one will ever be. You know. Thank you, Doctor Carroll. Let's take a look at what's happening in this next scene. In this scene, we have her. She's just played tennis. She's looking to play tennis again. She doesn't know how to play it without the weed. The marijuana. And look at that. I showed these people how to dance. I got down. I showed them. I said, you must let go. You, When you're on marijuana, you have no inhibitions. You do anything you want to do. You talk about what you want to talk about. You do what you want to do. You feel the way you feel. You feel. You will. You let. You know, I told her, I said, I only want a marijuana in this movie. And this woman, she she pours a drink. She starts drinking alcohol instead of marijuana. I told her, don't do that for the scene. Don't, you don't want to do that. I don't even know, what's she putting cocaine, cocaine in the drink? I'm unhappy with the scene. I'm unhappy with it. The fridge wasn't even working. I put a coke in there and I taste took it later and it wasn't even cold. Cold. The blocking for the scene's all off. All off. She got the choreography all wrong. This girl right here. She does. She's flapping him, flopping. She's supposed to let go. She's supposed to hit him. at this room look at it look at the room look at the look at how they talk look at them they're I don't know what kind of fucking performance this this guy was pulling here he's at he you saw that laugh it was the weirdest laugh I hadn't heard a laugh like that in my life That's weird. That was weird. I I want to do another take of this, but she said she didn't want to keep kissing that guy. This girl had no problem kissing. He would kiss him, and this guy, he said, he told me he, I we set him up with the girls. We sent her home because he he just liked to watch. He said. a hit and run driver. Someone caught the license number at the place of the accident but didn't get it quite right. So we're checking all numbers like it and yours is one of them. Well, I'll try to help you. You remember what you did on the 29th of last month? Oh, that was the day before Mother's birthday. Now, these cops oh, yes, were not real. One, one was a real cop, one was a f- not real cop. I'll, say one, I'll tell you the backstory. He was a cop. He was doing the beat. No, no, uh, no, he no, caught no, me on, a, uh, on some sort of ticket, speeding ticket. Uh, not hit and run like in the in the film, you know, in the film. But he, you know, he was uh, calling me to I say, look, you got a face for a movie. I made him the cop that didn't talk. <laughs> Has Jimmy Main been here today? He was. This guy actually had a very thick, 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 thick accent. He was st- straight out of so Cuba. He, didn't, he, he couldn't, he could barely even talk. Are you sure Jimmy didn't leave any message for me, Mary? No, he didn't. But, you know, we worked with him. We had that, we had a guy, his acting coach said, down, you must boy. believe you're American. You must understand what it's like to be here. And uh, that's how you really got it. 
The, oh, the props guy was really good on this set. You know, he was good. He was a fun guy. We went out for some drinks after this. We had some fun, you know? Now, the boom mic, I wasn't too happy with him. He was... He, he, he with the boom mic. Sometimes he, I would get hit by it. I'd get slapped by it. I wasn't too happy with that. You know? I wasn't too happy with it. Well, this guy, he was a little weird. I, I don't know. I, I, he, he, like I said, he liked to watch a lot. You see how he walks stiff? He did not like this, being so close to her. He did not like it. She was uncomfortable too, cause she heard he doesn't really like to be. Smoke, Mary. Same. Well, next to Are anybody. You sure, Jimmy will be back soon. Sure, any minute. Ooh, now she's smoking too, huh? I forgot we had that. You know, the, the things that make it in. 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 The, you know. Now, let me tell you about this bouquet here. There's actually a long story here about the bouquet. I went to the flower store. I got the bouquet. I, I said, I want a bouquet for the film. I brought it back. <laughs> I, they, I brought it. I showed the, I showed art department. The art department said, this looks like a good bouquet. They said, you got a good bouquet here. You, you got a bouquet for, for ages. This this is gonna make this a Hollywood movie. I said this is just a government movie, but you think so? And they said yeah, and I put it in. Hey, what's the matter? Am I an orphan? Where do you put it? You got a hollow. Am I an orphan? A hollow leg? You know, these are terms that in my home country we used to talk about stuff like that in Canada. Oh Mary, give me a Mary. See, I think that the reason he. he he didn't, he's very rough, you know, this is actually supposed to be a tender scene, a very tender scene, you know, love, and he didn't know how to be with a woman, so he would grab her, and he would attack her, and he didn't know how to, look, at, look how rough he is with her, that, that is not how you treat a woman, you know, even in my country, Canada, we don't do that. Now we did what? Well, how we did this? We got the effects department. I said, "Put the face on his face on top of this scene." I don't like the way he's talking. He's holding her, and I really like his reaction here. Uh, this is my fight scene. Yeah, they say that Jackie Chan was influenced by these scenes. You know. You know, uh, this girl was very confused during filming. I told them to duck because I actually put a, a real bullet in the gun. You see, in Hollywood, we use blanks. I decided I want to go real, realistic, powerful. She was fine, you know. It actually completely missed her heart. But we, I wanted a real reaction out of this. And you can see that they're actually really concerned about this. They dropped the whole act of being high and she did. all the stuff. And May, get him some water. He was you. very thirsty during this scene. Why don't you get out of here? Get out of here and forget you're ever in here today. Ooh, this scene. We lit. took it okay, took go. about ten takes to get here. You know, because uh, he was like, get out. He would say, mess up, he would say, he'd say, you killed her. He would blame other people. I told him, I said, you can't blame other people. They all literally just saw you do that. Give it to me. He 
He couldn't just shake him awake. He had to use the water. This is a holy water. He told me that I he added this. This actor was very. Matt was a very uh, uh, interesting guy. He would take things from his life. So he said at home they would put the holy water on him when when he had a cold, and so that's what they did to. This is how you say reefer madness. <laughs> you know? Uh, they are very afraid of Look, the tears here. After I scream, you call the cops. And this is your story. Remember it. These two kids came up here for a couple of beers. You were out in the kitchen, you heard, it, heard the shots. When you got in here, that's what you found. Just stick to that story. Mary. Mary, speak to me. Mary. We rushed her to the hospital right after that. You know, she actually liked it. You know, she said she said it added a level of realism she never felt in film. Okay, this scene was very intense uh, the music in it is uh, uh, Chopin Chopin and uh, I they brought me a couple other sheet music to, for the music to, for, the, for them to play during the scene of Chopin Chopin Mozart Bach I said I want uh, Chopin I, I like him I mean, you didn't... No. I didn't crack. I'm not going to. Nobody will ever know you were driving that car. Well, thanks, Jack. Just as long as you keep your mouth shut that you were ever up in May's apartment. Why, sure, Jack, sure. Okay. He was real worried, actually. Because I told you, he really thought he killed that person. I know. I actually... It was actually amazing to make that like piece of newspaper. Uh, you know, we, I had them paint it. Each, paint, paint a news, paint over a newspaper. Dr. Carroll, as principal of the Lakeside High School, did you, during the last three months, notice any changes in the demeanor and attitude of your student, William Hopper? Yes in a number of things. For example, a timed disassociation of ideas. Now, that doesn't make any sense. Tying disassociation in, uh, ideas. Instance, the real reason he was supposed to say he's supposed to so say he was bad at, with his timing. This guy changed the lines to, to seem more uh, crazy. This, I understand, could be attributed to the use of marijuana. Marijuana. errors in time. I put the picture of George Washington here, and I wanted to show the first president, you know, because the whole thing is that, you know, all the presidents early on, they used, um, they, I heard they used the hemp to put the, I think the Constitution was on the hemp, and I wanted to show that they were crazy too, why they leave in Britain, it's very nice there. Severe mental strain, which might possibly have been induced by some drug. Yes? I recall distinctly a few weeks ago, it was during a class of English literature, there was a serious discussion of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet when he suddenly burst into an uncontrollable fit of hysterical laughter. Oh, by the way, Dr. Carroll, six months ago, what would have been your opinion regarding the character of my client? He was a fine, upstanding American boy, a good scholar, a good athlete, and representative of the caliber of young men we are proud to be from our school. This guy, he never really stopped smoking. If you look closely, he's actually the great-great-grandfather of Jude Pull Law. Snap out of it, will you? It's not our fault. Why'd I ever bring him up there anyway? He's just a kid. I can't hang him. Sh shut up, shut up! Why don't you let yourself go? Talk! 
Go off your nuts and have me that way, too. It was his own fault, wasn't it? Shut up! They've got us hidden out, haven't they? The cops can't find us. Jack. Jack, I want to get out of this place. You're going to stay here as long as we have to keep those two out there undercover. The now, uh, I put this sheet, uh, I call, I, this is the beginning of filters, you know, uh, I was filtering the camera, you know, you, now you kids, you, they use the Instagram, they do the filter, they say, oh, I want this, a sepia, this, that, you had, in the back, back then, you gotta do it, you gotta put it in front of it, and then you put the, you gotta just put it, put it there, put it in front, put it in front of it, you know, put it in front of the camera. I don't think you'll get it. I'll see you later. Where are you going? I'm gonna see the boss. The boss. He's talking about me, I think, because I, I think I'll bring a boss. Hello, Jack. I asked the accountant to do one more scene. He's done with my taxes. He did a good job. My return was pretty good. Pretty good. They do that Hollywood accounting stuff, and you know, I got back more than I got maybe three, three twenty, three twenty bucks, three twenty bucks, three twenty bucks. You know. He's on the T. You have to take a powder on it and blow his topper to the DA. You mean you think we'd all be better off if he never heard the verdict? Well, what are you waiting for? See that? Uh, this he puts a three. Um, he painted over this one. It took hours. Oh my God! He painted over the last you, one. You, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have a duty to perform. So duty uh, let me tell you how I casted this guy. This guy. Mary he was a he was just a clerk at a at the at the. At the passport office, of the and uh, of the I looked at him. I said, By his own admission, "Look at this guy. Look at that mustache." And, and he would yell at his employees. He would say, "You, yeah, fuck you, yeah, fuck you. You get that passport out of here. You approve that passport? What's wrong with you? This guy is a flight risk." And they say, "How many visas you got? Huh?" Huh? And he would yell and shout, and I, I loved him. You know, I was happy with Eric. I was, I would look at him. I would say, you, this guy could just show everybody how angry a man could be. Yeah, I was very happy with it. He did say insane. See the see the level of he saying insane a lot. The reason I had to say that because you know he 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 he, he, he was saying that a lot in the office. I put a lot of close ups on this guy. You know. You know he actually is a is the great great grandfather of Jared Leto. If such deeds are permitted to go unpunished, this community would cease to be a decent and safe place for us or our children to live. I do not believe I have to plead or even demand that you bring in a verdict to punish the defendant for the crime that he has committed against society. You are upright citizens. That is why you were chosen to... Now, the jury... <sighs> you know, what happened was we go, we went to the courthouse. You know, you ever get picked for jury duty? You, you understand this. We went to the courthouse. We found a jury that had just been let out for jury duty. It had said that we could go home. And I said, I said, you know, hey, we're shooting a film. You just walk back in the courthouse, sit there, you know. But then you listen to this guy. He's a great actor. I didn't tell him. He was just from the pat and the, the, the passport office. And uh, they loved it. They loved being in this movie. But he might have been insane yeah. when he did it. No, he wasn't. And uh, he what, he was what I told them is, uh, I'll respond uh, how you would be a real jury in this. All improv. But supposing he was insane? You can never make me believe it nor anybody else. We'll uh, take a first vote.
I talked to this guy, the one guy, Baldo, over here, Baldi. I used to I talk to him a lot on Saturday. We became actually pretty good friends. He came over for dinner. For conviction, one for acquittal. His name is, his name is, his name is Matt. Uh, his name is Matt. But there's a reasonable doubt about Not this bald guy. I, I, I could... Oh, uh, God. He, he talked too himself. much. That wasn't the first time he was there. What I did was, is, is, is I just, I threw a rope across the screen, I just threw it, I picked it up and I threw it across the screen while he was there, and that's how that, that really worked out pretty well. I like to be involved, I believe physicality, acting is physicality, film is physicality. That's how I created this film. The government was happy with it. They took so long to sit in these seats because you know what they said? They would say to me, "I that's my seat. Fred took my seat. Oh, Sammy took my seat. Oh, oh, oh. Take it easy, I said to them. Come on, you gotta sit wherever you want. Jeez, give someone else a turn to sit up front. It's like kids over here. Have you reached a verdict? We have. The defendant will rise. Watch this very carefully. What is your verdict? We you find the defendant guilty. He's charged. He was guilty of the marijuana. You know, that's the point. I think she didn't know we were shooting the one, the woman up front. That's why she didn't have a reaction. You know, she wasn't method like everyone else. She thought we were rehearsing. This guy is just hanging around. He was chewing his gum the entire time I said, he'd say, he'd say, I'd say, what kind of gum are you chewing? He said, bubble yum. I was, I'm not a big fan of bubble yum, to be honest with you. I told him that's not what they're called. They're called joints. But he he called them reefers. I don't know. So he's a weird guy. I told you he loved to watch. Blanche, they're going to hang him. Oh, come on. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Put that crazy laughing. Where's Jack? I want to get out of here. They'll pick you up and hang you if you don't pipe down. I want to see Jack. Jack. I want to see Jack. Jack. You better quiet him. I can't do anything with him. We gave some real reefer here. That's how we, he got this. He got this performance. Heartfelt, powerful. We tried to keep his tie loose on him because he was getting, he said it was too tight on him, to be honest. We, I like most of my actors to look sharp on my set. Keeping it loose, I don't know. I was uncomfortable with it. Look how loose it is. He, knew, he said it was too tight on his neck. I would, you know, when I would go to my, was that my christening, I, I didn't complain for two seconds. I left a red ring around my neck, you know? You want me to play something for you? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. This guy love piano. All right. Come on. Sit down. Earlier he said, quit that racket. But, uh, Honey, give me a smoke, will you?
he loves his music, you know. I, I, I never told her to give him to give those kisses. girl did not actually play piano. We played this all on a record. We never show one shot of her actually playing. We never show the keys. <sighs> Told him to put it in the ashtray. on the fucking floor. You know how much we got, it cost to fix up that set after that? Singe it. She, we told her to laugh, to be screaming, but she kept to do this. We have to dub the screams in, because she kept laughing. Hurry, hurry! There's a terrible fight going on. Yes, yes. Apartment thirty-two. <laughs> we gave him a fire poker to do this. It was robbers, so and we didn't want to hurt that guy. We like that guy actor. I like that actor. Actually. Not him, the guy who he was hitting. He. We told her it was ridiculous that to run away from a cop. I don't know why she thought that was her choice, but the actors always say I have to make a choice here. The actor's choice. Originally, there was no montage here. What we had was we had the actual showing of the interrogation scene, and it was very intense. It was it was the invention of the good cop, bad cop. Judges chamber, right? Yeah. If we can gain some measure of leniency for my client, she is prepared to enter a plea of guilty and, in addition, turn state's evidence in the case of William Harper. I regret that this court is not prepared to bargain with justice. I'll tell anyway. I was there. I saw it. I know who killed Mary. And I'll tell you who killed Mary Lane. It wasn't Bill. It was Jack. Jack Perry. He shot Mary, and then he put the gun in Bill's hand. We were all up to the apartment one afternoon, and Mary came in looking for her brother. Bill and I, we'd been in another room. And Bill came in, and he caught Ralph with Mary, and they started to fight. But it was Jack who had the gun. He was going to hit Bill over the head with it to make him stop. And then, then the gun went off. I saw it. I could see it now. It was horrible. And this is just, you know, she was said she was out of tears. We asked her, can you use your tears for this scene? Can you do it? Can you tear? Can you tear up? Can you tear up for our scene? Can you tear up for our scene, Sammy? And she said, no, I'm out of tears. And my eyes are all dry. But this is the truth, Dad. I'm telling you the truth. After Jack saw the poor thing was dead. He put the gun in 
Mr. Bill's hand. It was Jack's fault. And it was my fault, too. I got all of them to come up to the apartment. I'm just as much to blame. That one fucking tear. Sammy, that motherfucker. I told her that she's not gonna have a future in this in Hollywood if she's gonna uh, she's gonna act like this. Yes, yes, I'm guilty. I am Prepare a statement for signature and also an order setting aside the jury's verdict in the case of the people versus William Harper. In the interests of justice. I shall direct a verdict of not guilty. I never noticed this, but my movie is kind of it's pretty it's pretty boring and pretty bad. But it's a government, you know, government Sign case, here, government case. This guy, he took so long. He just read his. He just wrote his his name. His name was Max. Uh, Max. Max Thomas. He took, uh, took an hour to do it. He, did, he, did, he, did, he shot it. You know, I said this. I said this is Hollywood. You don't mess with the Hollywood movie. See, I put Theodore Roosevelt in there. Again, 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 again. President. They like that, the government. They. I need to make sure I get my money here. We put a little water in. Not, we throw a little... That's, you, we actually got that one actor to do it. He was spritzing the water with his hand. He spritzed it on her face. Just... We really just threw her dress out the window in her pocketbook. Shot again later that she was on the floor. Beautiful scene. I very good at the social effects. If you just ask me. About an unhappy and unfortunate case. One whose horrible tragedy will forever remain with me. I am happy to have been enabled, before it was too late, to order the verdict of the jury in the case of the people versus William Harper to be set aside. But, young man, although this court is convinced that to declare you guilty would have been a gross miscarriage of justice, we cannot condone your acts. And we can express only the hope that your experiences may not alone keep you, but thousands of others from the vicious pitfalls of marijuana. Marijuana. Oh, Thus, I am ordering you to remain in this court during the next case. So I put the scene and I structured it, I blocked it, you, so these three, my favorite actors, would be there. Call the case of the people versus yeah, I like Ralph this guy too, Wiley. actually. I don't know why she keeps kissing him on the fucking lips. That's her, his mom. I think she kind of liked him. I was happy to put to I really did want to get sent this guy to something. He was a weird actor. In this case the state waves trial of the defendant Ralph Wiley. We shot that actually at the, for, on the first day. The defendant be placed at an institution for the criminally insane for the rest of his natural life. Defendant counsel joins the state in this request. Since counsel for the defense as well as counsel for the state seem to agree on this, I see no reason why the request should not be granted. That happened right here, to your neighbors. It is not too much to say that in your hands lies the possibility of averting... So what we did, 
is we left the screenplay out and he read the screenplay to these guys, you know? And that's how we did it. To these PTA people. They, they, they were furious, you know, that a meeting, PTA meeting, go that long, you know? Or your son. Or yours. Or yours. Uh, you know, I had him point right at the camera, but I found it, I was very, it made, this, it made me feel very uncomfortable. I had someone else roll the camera. Thank you so much for listening to the director's commentary for Reefer Madness. I really appreciate it. Hopefully it could help you make a movie that's not dog shit.